Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Bitcoin hasn't really moved much on Saturday. It's a typical crypto Saturday. Not much going on there. Um, just sideways consolidation. Interestingly, just below a breakout point here on the daily chart. This descending broadening wedge is for me the range in which Bitcoin has been moving since March. We haven't broken out yet to the upside. A lot of people are getting super bullish. A lot of people are really getting bullish on crypto Twitter. I did read through a few few posts today. Um, it's, it's incredible how quickly sentiment can shift. In August, people were talking about the bear market. Now everybody's like 100k plus. And I also see this primarily, right? I've also seen it, um, yeah, a couple of weeks ago when we had a setup here. Um, I think was was it here, 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 wherever there was a there was a pullback zone, which I have now removed because we added another one already yesterday. But the reason for me to say that is more like you know now that everybody gets bullish, we're now entering obviously an area from where the next deeper pullback can start. Now I'm not yet expecting it. Well, we should expect it, but you know I'm I'm not. I would I would prefer short term a little bit more upside and whether it's just like you could you could call it a fake out um, above this range and then a pullback because that's what people would call it like a fake out even though we're just rallying into Fibonacci resistance now here on the daily chart there are two there are two main scenarios that I'm watching I shared them with you already in the last couple of days so they are both bullish because Bitcoin has formed a five wave move to the upside in one of these. So the blue scenario is a leading diagonal. One, two, three, four, five. It's a bit of an ugly one. So it's not my preferred, let's say, scenario. It's not my preferred structure here. It has problems, this structure. Um, however, it's a five-wave move up. And yeah, even in this scenario, the market could stretch a little bit higher, possibly to around about 71K. And then I'm going to watch for a wave two pullback. And then from there, a third wave can start and so on. And we go to 100K plus, okay? That, that is currently what the structure tells me. The support area at the moment is defined between 53K and 60,760. But it is possible that the next pullback isn't a wave two yet, but instead the white count is playing out, which is um, very, very similar but it's just a different type of diagonal, okay? So you can you can interpret diagonal patterns in different ways, but even here, we would like to see the price go a bit higher, but a little bit higher than the blue one, maybe. More into the region around 73.5 to 74.5K. In the white count, uh, it would be wave one, done, wave two, done, A, B, C. So we're likely in a C wave now, of a third wave. That should get actually at least to 73.5K then a wave four, then a wave five, and that would complete the wave one, not like in the blue count here, but up here, and then we get a wave two. So essentially quite similar. In both counts, we are watching short term for a little bit higher. The white count could go a little bit higher than the blue one more directly, but then should both should show us a pullback. The blue one a little bit deeper than the white count, but essentially they both go in the same direction. And it takes a break now below support on the daily chart, so below 53K, to suggest that something bearish is playing out. Now, let's take a look at the um, shorter time frame. Here, really, nothing has changed on Saturday. So I'm still tracking movements to the upside. The, the pullback is not noteworthy at all. It's just been sideways consolidation. I explained to you that as long as we're holding this red line at 66,650, there isn't really anything that's changing here on the chart. And I'd still like it to go a little bit higher. Um, this is just here an overview of the micro structure. And um, for now, I'm just tracking the move to, to around 73.5 to 74.5K, as I said. Bear in mind that that blue count on the daily should top a little bit earlier. So yes, I am watching for a break of support, but as long as pullbacks remain corrective, um, I'm looking for higher. Now I have to say we are now entering a you know like a like a wall of resistance. Okay, so we have a breakout line here in red. We have Fibonacci resistances everywhere. Yeah, and the and the 
ideal target area up there around 73.5 to 74.5k. So I think at the moment, for, you know, this would be a terrible place to go long in my view. Um, th that's my view. Now, there are breakout traders that can work, absolutely, but the risk is now high. Am I interested in shorting now? No, because we are still in an uptrend and I, I don't see a short trade setup and we're in a bullish market and the profits would just be small in my view. But the next pullback could be a great opportunity as the pullback was um, a week ago, you know, a couple of weeks ago, a week ago that we talked about. So that's my update about Bitcoin. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.